Radio New Zealand National. To what extent is it actually Radio Rhodesia National? Let's review and come to some conclusions. These various geographical components. Okay. So, Jeff Robinson, because he had a public school South London accent, uh, spent 40 years as the host of Morning Report. Now, Susie Ferguson, because she's Irish, uh, is now the host. It's interesting. Will she be with us for another 40 years? Okay. Little Britain. Nine to noon. Well, only 4% of people weren't actually uh, of European extraction, really, and um, most of them were... British, uh, much more parochial in the afternoons uh, and at night, but still a big international uh, focus. Clear preferences at the moment. I think the exclusions are also quite clear. There appears to be a colour bar here. Does there not? What about the content? Um, Only two programmes that I can see, the Manukorahi News and Te Ahi Ka. Well, what does that equal? Less than 2% of weekly content at Radio New Zealand is Maori content. Wow. Unbelievable. So, according to Radio New Zealand's own charter, all they have to pay attention to is, is are their own listeners, uh, which, of course, reinforce the white middle-class audience, which is only 18% of the total audience anyway. Uh, only two-thirds, by the way, actually know that Radio New Zealand is a public broadcaster. Um, how would the Waitangi Tribunal view this? Well, they set up, um, basically, there was a case early on about the language. So when they set up Tamangai Paho as a uh, separate from uh, New Zealand on air, I guess perhaps they thought they didn't have to do any Maori broadcasting. The expectations public are pretty much in line with the, the charter and uh, what we've come to see. The critics' response, such as my own, however, are uh, slightly different. They're not really diverse, are they? No, they're not. At all. What are they? Gosh. Take that, the English. Hmm. Well, what's the conclusion?